All right kids, what do you want for breakfast? There's eggs, pancakes, waffles, toast or cereal. Can I have some waffles please, with extra golden syrup if you don't mind? You know, I kind of fancy some toast this morning, so I think I will have some toast. All right, waffles and toast it is. Ah, good morning my wonderful family, isn't it a beautiful morning? Why yes, it sure is dear. Anyway, I'm about to start making breakfast, what would you like? Huh, you know I haven't had waffles for quite some time, so, I think I'll have some of those for breakfast. All right, so waffles for you and Kalo, toast for Rosie and I think I will have some cereal. All right, I just need to go to the fridge to get the waffles. Oh by the way, did I mention that my twin brother Chorus is coming to visit today? Um guys, why are you all looking so shocked? Well it's just that, your twin brother can be a little let's say, unusual, and not to mention he is also a little stalkerish. Yeah, he is like totally obsessed with mum, you do know that he actually proposed to her when you wasn't looking. Yeah, he got down on one knee with a diamond ring and everything. It'll be alright guys, he's been receiving therapy for his well, problems during the past year, so I'm pretty sure he's over his obsession with your mom by now. You know, I've always wondered, why was Uncle Karis so obsessed with mom anyway? You know, I think it was because he was jealous, because in high school, he had a great big crush on her, only I got there first, and ever since then he's been trying to steal her. But, try not to worry guys. I'm sure a year in therapy has helped him grow out of his jealousy of me and Doris. At last, now that I have been invited to visit Boris and his family after so long, I can now finally steal his wife and kids from him and get rid of Boris once and for all. I have waited for this moment for many years, and now my chance has finally come, soon. Doris and the kids will be mine. Boris is going to be so sorry that he stole Doris from me. I saw her first. So she is rightfully mine. Ah. Why hello there Chorus. I see that you finally made it. Um, is there a reason why you're looking so shifty? Oh, no reason. It's nothing for you to worry about. Okay good. Anyway, do you want to come in and see the rest of the family? Oh yes. I would like that very much. I would like to see the rest of the family, especially that ever so beautiful Doris. I swear. If that chorus tries any funny business in any shape or form, I am going to kick him right in the... Hey family, chorus is finally here and he's been looking forward to seeing you all after so long. Oh come on guys, why are you all looking so annoyed? I think I know, so let me talk to them for just a minute, I have some serious apologizing to do. Alright chorus, you do what you need to do. Now? I understand that you are probably not happy to see me right now, especially you Doris. I understand that I acted let's say, obsessed over you during my last visit. Bruh. You literally proposed to her. Well as I told you guys earlier, Chorus has been receiving therapy during the past year, and he is now a changed person. So, can you guys at least give him another chance? I am really very sorry for acting like a jealous, obsessed weirdo. I have now accepted this fact that Boris dated Doris first, and that she belongs with him. Well, I suppose so, but, if he starts acting like an obsessed waiter towards me again, then he has to go, understand, because I'm not going through all that again. Yes ma'am, I'll be on my best behavior, I promise. Hey bro, I'm starving, I didn't have breakfast this morning as I didn't have time to have any. Well, I can take you into the kitchen and show you what we have. Okay, that's fine with me. So, Mom, do you think Uncle Chorus is telling the truth? Do you think he is actually a changed person? Well, to be honest, I don't know. I guess we are going to have to find out. Alright, now let's see what we got in here. We did go grocery shopping a few days ago so we should have plenty of food in. Alright, now. Oh you are so naive my dear brother, you have no clue as to why I really came here. Well, now that I have knocked you unconscious, I can now finally steal your family. 
But first I need to hide you somewhere and dress up as you so that Doris and the kids don't suspect anything. I'm so sorry that I had to do this Boris, but it's the only way that I'm going to steal your family from you, surely you understand. Alright, I think this closet will do nicely, okay brother, you stay in here and be a good boy whilst I disguise myself as you and kidnap your family, alright, now that he has been dealt with, time to disguise myself as Boris and take Doris and the kids away forever, now, where does my brother keep his clothes? Rosie. I can't believe that you stepped on my balls and broke them, you need to watch where you're going. Oh my god, chill out Hale Lou, it was an accident, besides, if they wasn't in the way, then this whole thing could have been prevented. But, my balls are very precious to me, and you have destroyed them, I hope you're very pleased with yourself. Will you two kids stop fighting, I am still trying to debate as to whether I should forgive your Uncle Corys or not. Speaking of Uncle Corys. He and Daddy are taking a long time looking for something to eat. Yeah, either Uncle Karus can't decide what to have, or both of them are pigging out. Hey Doran of my beloved wife, how are you? Oh, there you are Boris, we was beginning to wonder where you and Cory's got to. Hey, where is Cory's anyway, why hasn't he come outside with you? Oh, Corus had to head back home as he had some errands to run. But he said that he will stay a little longer the next time he visits. So anyway, now that he's gone, I was thinking that me, you and the kids could go on vacation. What? You mean as in, right now? Why of course you silly goose, just the four of us, spending some quality family time together. So, what do you say my gorgeous wife, shall we go on vacation, like, right now? Well, I don't really know. This all seems rather sudden and unexpected, can we at least wait maybe a few days so we have more time to get organized and stuff? Oh come on Doris, why are you being so difficult, let's just go on vacation right now. Why are you making this so freaking difficult, why can't we just go on vacation right now? Boris, what in the world has gotten into you, and can you please take your hands off me, you're hurting me. Not until you agree that we can go on vacation right now, come on Doris. You have no idea just how long I've waited to take you and the kids away. Boris, you're starting to scare me now, just what in the world has. Oi! Take your hands off my wife right freaking now you creepazoid. Hey, what the, chorus, why on earth are you wearing my clothes? Don't play dumb with me brother, because me and you both know that you're actually chorus and I'm really Boris. I don't know what you're talking about chorus, me and you both know that I'm actually Boris not you. Well, this is most certainly confusing. Yeah, I have to say that I do agree with you. No, I am Boris. No, I am you imposter. Alright alright, I think I know a way to settle this debate. Okay, will the real Boris please state their favorite hobby? Stalking and planning to kidnap Doris and the kids, grounding Kayla on a daily basis. Alright, well, I think I know who the real Boris is and who the imposter Boris is. So now I can deal with the imposter in the appropriate manner. Oh Doris, did I ever tell you just how beautiful you are looking today? Well, now that we got this debate settled, we can now go. Why? I can't believe that you kicked me in the forbidden zone. I thought you loved me, Doris. Well, news flash Corys. I don't love you, and how dare you disguise as my husband and try and take me and the kids away. You have really crossed the line now Chorus. You are officially no longer welcome here. I honestly thought you changed, but I guess I was wrong. No please, I am sorry Boris. I promise that I won't do anything like this ever again. Let me prove to you all that I have changed. Shut up. You haven't changed. You're still the same, stalker obsessed weirdo that you have always been and I have no doubt that you will never change. Now, get off my property and don't come back, otherwise I will call the police. Why? <laughs>